Now, this is the student's example. He wants to design a table wiper, something that can wipe the table dry instantly. So the situation is um, the cleaner comes and clear the table, wipes the table with a cloth, and usually that will leave the table wet and uh, not comfortable for the user to put the arms on the table. So usually um, the user would pick up a piece of tissue paper and clean the table dry and uh, before he can use the table or put his arm on the table. So in this case, this student uh, chose a snail toy for his uh, sheep borrowing activity and um, the problem with this page and starting in this manner is see when you look at this page there's no indication what the direction of the design should be so what i would suggest is to first write note what exactly do you want to do so for example dry the table in less than a second now where do i get this sentence from before you do idea generation you would have already a list of established design specifications they will be drafts but at least they should be there to guide you in your idea generation so in this case for this activity i want to design something that can help me to drive the table in less than a second where do I get this second from? In a journal, you would have your research. You would have shown some evidence how you get to this second. Why not in two seconds and three seconds? Okay, so I assume that this has been done and now I want to design something that can dry the table in less than a second. Now we do shape borrowing. Okay, this is shape borrowing, of course. There you go. Not a very well done one. Later, I'll show you how you can do it better. But before we even shape borrow, we got to think about what are some existing products that is available in the market that helps us dry something in less than a second. The window wiper is a product that comes to my mind. There may be some other products in the market that can do the same job which may not be a window wiper but this is something obvious that pops up in my head immediately when I think about that. So a wiper with a rubber what do you call that? Maybe I just call it a rubber tip for the moment. Now, the function of this rubber at the end of the holder, maybe it looks like that, the strip. As you move the wiper to the right, it gathers water from table and on this end you leave the table dry first you move to the right you, it gathers the water number two now you have the ta dry table on the other end and this is how a wiper works and i'm sure this will work brilliantly from my own experience i've used a wiper before and every time when i wipe swipe and i do get a dry surface so now now the challenge is how do you dry this collected pile of water that may stay on the rubber tip or on the remaining table 
Okay, so we believe that um, we, we, we may not need to solve the problem right now. But now we, we do find something that can dry the table in this area immediately. It depends on how fast you swipe. If you can swipe in less than a second, you have a dry table in less than a second. If you're very slow, then of course more than a second, but well, this will do the job. Now, what is this thing? This is product research. Before you do idea generation, you would have done your product research. You would have found a product that may do the job of drying the table. So the wiper can be an example the wiper can be a potential product research image that you can do your research on. And as I said, it is always good to work out and think about how the product works. Draw, sketch, draw the movement, explain. This will reinforce your thinking, how this product works. And this knowledge and working through how it works through sketches and annotation it will help you in your idea generation. Now, with this background, now that I have done my product research, and I know this is what I want to do, this in my design specification, I want to dry the table in less than a second, I know that I see product that looks like this, and I know that the rubber tip works, and I think I like the shape of a snail, and assuming that the user are young, it can be a child. Maybe I want to use this at home environment. Home. Now, originally it was for the coffee shop, but since the students chose this new, very colorful, very vibrant. It looks more applicable for a child. So let's say my intention is to encourage a child to help with housework and to encourage a child to do something to help up uh, with chores at home. So a product that looks nice and cute and vibrant that can help dry the table is something easy that a child can do at home. So let's shape a from this snail toy we will scamper, we will combine these two items together and I want to see what I can get out of this. So this is the regular typical wiper shape in the form of a T. Not so exciting. If you were to give this to a child, well he may do his job, but it may not motivate him to want to, to play around with it and to hang on around and do the job for a long time. So if this shape can be an interesting shape, something that can inspire or motivate the child to want to hold, play, touch, clean the table again and again and again and again, then this will be a good design for the child. So shape or roll. How do we shape or roll? First, do not have to worry about a 3D view. Draw, draw it in 2D interpret this as a 2D. So we have a shell, the back is a circle. When you shape borrow, always think in terms of shape. This is no longer a snail, but this is a profile made out of different shapes combined. So a circle and a rectangle here and a little long half semicircle and the wheels, two circle. I'm just gonna literally copy this. Okay, for the head, it's a circle here and you have a trapezium. Or a rectangle that is narrower at the bottom. Notice that, okay? So next, we shape a row, we copy the shape. Now we have a circle, we have a rectangle, and we have a semicircle, and we have the circles here. These two circles are much smaller than the one at the top. One, two, three, okay, about one third the size of this, the large diameter, about one third. So when you do shape borrow and you draw shapes relative to each other, you must also understand the proportions 
relative to each other. So this is how you can eyeball and draw shapes in the correct proportion and put them in the in the same orientation. So and before I draw the rectangle, I know the head relative to the horizontal is about 45 degrees. So when I draw the rectangle, I'll draw the rectangle at 45 degrees, making sure it's tapered down. And then the top of the head is about halfway the diameter of the circle. This is halfway. I've drawn a little bit too tall, but it, it is okay. But I think it is fine. Just a little bit tall is fine. Now we have a circle for the head, big head. Any cartoons, anything cute, always have a big head, right? So now it's time to outline. Now when I do my outline, I no longer want to look at this anymore. I'll rely on my outline and I will not be too worried about the details. And if I'm not too worried about the details, I get the opportunity to simplify this. And simplification is a very, very important skill and an art when you do designing. And simplification not only helps you to draw faster, it actually helps to minimize distraction from the other details. Now, if you're going to do a pencil holder, a towel holder, which you can roll, or socks holder, these holes may be potential design, which you can draw holes here, of which you can roll up your socks or towel and stick them in. That would be pretty cool. But in this case, there is the wiper, something to dry the table in less than a second. Always remember what you want to do dry the table in less than a second. Many students do not have this. Many students do not have this. And then when they want to do idea generation, they start from a blank piece of paper and say, okay, now shit, what do I do? Sorry, not shit. Sorry, what do I do? Just look blank, don't know what to do. Okay, so you must have your objective here. We will product research idea to give you the inspiration for your design. So now I'm going to transform this combining with the wiper, put them together and see what I can get. Okay, maybe I just draw another one. The shell, the head, circles, rectangles. And because the wiper will be flat, I will eliminate the circles. And because I have intended, I want to put this rubber part at the bottom a rubber part at the bottom so the user will be able to hold it with the hand hold the shell and then move it across the table with the rubber at the bottom so the shell i think i still need the tail so now i have now do i have to draw exactly the same not really but once i plot these geometric shapes with the right proportion, the, the whatever I'm going to do an outline later, the design will not go too far off. I'm very sure. Now, next part, how do I draw the rubber part? How big? You must do your crit critical dimension. You must know the length. You must know the height. You will do this when you do your research. All this information you must have. The length of the rubber tip, the length of the holder if you wish, how wide, how broad, how everything, you must know. Otherwise, you will not be able to design. So I'm going to draw about this size because imagine if I were to hold it. So this is hand, I want the size of the hand to be about this big. This profile here may be a little bit big for the hand, but since I've already drawn the hand and I access the drawing, this is a table, this is the rubber tip, this is the shape borrowed snail and this is the hand and now I've completed shape borrowing 
combining with the concept of a wiper and now I have my first concept, the idea. The next thing I will do for this is to evaluate this, not criticizing this, but think about number one, does it work well? How well does this work? How well does it work? Okay, you ask, how well does this work? I just produced a, a solution. How well does it work? If you want to, you can see from the scale of 1 to 10, how well. And then, once you can put a number to this scale, 1 to 10, then they say, why? Why this number? Okay, I would say maybe at this moment, 7. Why? What is lacking? I think the profile is still a little bit too big for a child. Okay, the profile is still a little bit for the child. It would have, if, if this would be smaller, it will be easier to hold, it will be easier to manage, but I want to keep the length, I want to keep the length of the rubber to be the same, so that it can cover a little bit more area, more area when, it, when, it, when, when the child uses it and drives the table, but the holding part must be comfortable. That is ergonomics. So, as soon as you finish a solution, you draw the first idea, ask, how well does it work? Give a rating, and then if you give a rating, explain why that rating, and explain why it did not work as well as you would wish. Next, this is step number one. Now you know that this is too big. The next logical thing to, to think about, to do will be, if you know that this is the problem, what would you recommend? So number two, what would be a good improvement improvement what maybe improvement feature or improvement plan so number one how does it work does it work well yes no no why so if that is the reason if it's too big what will be a good improvement okay now we will make this one smaller we will make the profile smaller so that it fits better to the hand and before you do that you know the size of the hand you know it's a child you can do an anthropometry, you would have worked out the hand, and then you will be able to appropriately resize the profile to the appropriate size. And once you do that, do a new sketch, and then you repeat the questioning again. Now you have a new sketch, an updated design, a slightly better one. How does it work? Formerly it was seven, now it could be eight, it could be nine, it could be 10. And if it's 10, you carry on with the development. Otherwise, you may want to choose another design for your shape borrow, or you may want to choose another concept of cleaning the table. Other than the wiper, what other product research do you have? <clears throat> what other solutions do you have? Pick that solution and repeat the process. And here you have idea generation. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, Subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. Cheers!